is smart. I am important. I am important. I am kind. I am kind. These words are important to kids like Joe Fu, and they're helping make a difference to their lives. Joe Fu is one of 12 kids living at this Nazarian school and orphanage located in the African country of Tanzania. Many of the kids have lost their parents through illness or tragic accidents, so they live here where they're given food to eat and a place to stay. Life here is pretty different to what we're used to. There's not a lot of clean water, it can get really dusty and there isn't much electricity but they still manage to have fun. Each year, volunteers like Hannah come to places like this to teach children things like English, sport and art. It's about giving these children who have no internet access, no books, no proper form of education like we have access to, a world knowledge so you could teach them about the country you're from and, and really help them learn English, which is going to set them up for life. Hannah lived at the orphanage for three and a half months. I slept on a concrete floor on a mattress with the, uh, with the girl orphans in one classroom and the boys were in the next classroom. There was no shower, so I had to use a bucket and often the children find our hair so strange and unusual because they all have to shave theirs. So uh, they would all try and help me shampoo my hair with this little bucket and, and that was your shower every week. She found every day to be different. I remember one morning Amos, the 18 year old, had typhoid and, um, and malaria so we suddenly had to rush him off to the doctors which was, it's tragic when you walk into a hospital there, it's, it's not a hospital, it's like a tin roof and you just think, oh no. Hannah and the other volunteers helped pay for electricity so the kids didn't have to always use candles for light. And they treated them to things they've never experienced before, like the movies. So Tash, when we went on these excursions, this is, um, for instance, one of the videos when we went into the car, they were so excited and happy about the experience that they would just sing. <laughs> when I announced it to them, I'm like, we're going to the movies. And they were like, oh, what? <laughs> and I realised they didn't know what a cinema was. They had no idea. It was 3D, so they had to wear the glasses. And actually, Mama's eye, who feeds the children during the day at their school, afterwards I took this photo and she's wearing the glasses upside down. <laughs> she didn't know how to wear glasses. After months of staying at the orphanage and getting to know everyone, it was hard to say goodbye. I was bawling and I had, I had to leave early in the morning so all the children had just woken up and they all stood around the gate as I was about to leave and they were all, no one could talk to me, no one wanted to look at me. Despite the tears, it's an experience Hannah will never forget. Anna, we wish you all the best, our sons against us, Nasserian.